Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbley Womblies, who two days ago took on Arsenal and now find themselves taking on Manchester City. It's no joke, this Barclays Premier League, although you would think that it is, given Callum Kennedy's haircut. Um, today, we're taking on, obviously, we're at one of the uh, biggest stadiums in England, the Etihad. Uh, this is pretty bananas, and we're probably going to lose. But it's raining in England. Uh, we're enjoying ourselves, and uh, it's wonderful just to be a, a Wembley or a Wombly. Um, today I'm going to talk about um, Emily. Uh, Emily uh, Emily's topic for the Project for Awesome. Uh, she donated to the P4A to pick a Wembley Wombly topic, and she wanted me to talk about Amsterdam. Uh, she's going on a summer backpacking trip there and spending a week there, and I wanted to know what I thought of the city, if I had any advice. Also, she wanted me to give a shout-out to How to Adult, which is a great YouTube channel that I produce, so it's easy to give a shout-out to it. Uh, YouTube.com slash, I should say, help produce. YouTube.com slash, I mean, my, very minorly help. How to Adult. YouTube.com slash How to Adult. It teaches you how to do adult things, you know, like from paying your taxes to um, asking people to go on dates, to making friends. It's a really cool YouTube channel that's sort of like, it's like a um, how-to, but instead of like learning how to change your oil in your car or whatever, you learn how to do adult stuff. Uh, as you could see, if you looked there, we have a slightly different midfield than usual. Um, we've got Jaggy Lightning Strike, Lightning Strike O uh, out on the left wing today. Um, and then uh, uh, we've got K St. Luce. Uh, girls just want to have fun. And Rudy's getting a start. We're basically just having to change up the whole squad because uh, two days ago we had a game. And so everybody's exhausted. But you know who isn't tired? Jaggy A Lightning Strike, Lightning Strike O. Jaggy A Lightning Strike, Lightning Strike O! No. Went to K St. Luce, the patron saint of lost crosses, who is not the patron saint of lost shooting. Um, so I love Amsterdam. I, I go there almost every year. I've been there almost every year for since 2006, I guess. Um, it's a beautiful city. Uh, I mean, one of my favorite things to do in Amsterdam, and if you're backpacking, uh, one, first off, you, you know, if you're backpacking, you're going to meet really interesting people in, like, the hostels and kind of meet friends, meet people that, that you can travel with well together and you can do, do lots of stuff together. That was not a foul. It was an embrace. Oh, this game is full of cheating. Um, there's girls just want to have fundings root on the ball. By the way, uh, that's Amora is injured for four months with a torn quadricep muscle and is now contemplating retirement because he's 36 years old and he misses Brazil. That's what he said to me in his email. Anyway, um, one of my favorite things to do in Amsterdam is just to walk around the central city, uh, the canal district and, you know, see all of the canals walk up and down, um, especially, uh, you know, the... Um, the sort of the five major canals. If you walk off of them into like the Jordan or other places, you can see the sort of little canals that are really um, beautiful. And I don't know. The, and, and and I like looking at all the boats that people own. Um, it's a city of uh, extremely small and uh, barely seaworthy boats, uh, which I always enjoy. Um, as far as uh, like the things that I love to do there, I love to go to bookstores there, especially the American bookstore in the Spau Square. Um, because I don't speak good Dutch or any Dutch, so Dutch bookstores, a little bit, you know, they're a little bit less fun for me. Um, but they, they, it's a great bookstore city. Um, I mean, like in the Spau Square, there are three English language uh, bookstores, um, which I is more in a single like block than we have in the city of Indianapolis, a city of a million people. So um, the other thing is that is to go to Vlaamse Friet. That's the most important thing that you can do in Amsterdam is get yourself some Vlaamse Friet. Uh, the best, the best fries outside of Belgium. Um, they are amazing. Uh, very near the Spau Square, very near the Benheinhof. If uh, you, that's a, that's a big tourist attraction. Although I, I don't really, it's not my fa I don't really get it. I don't really understand why the Benheinhof is so cool. Um, but you know, I don't know. Lots of people like it, so I'm sure I'm wrong. What a great pass to Jaggy! Lightning strike! Lightning strike! Oh, he's got tons of space. He's got space. He's got Dicko. It was a bad 
cross. Jaggy, lightning strike, lightning strike, oh, great player, struggles with his crosses. Have you noticed that, Meredith? He's not like Kay St. Louis, who, by the way, just did a great job getting back on defense. Manchester City looking like the lesser team, it must be said. And could it be that these Wembley Womblies are headed for the, uh, the, champion, the Champions League with the top four finish in the Premier League? Suddenly, it doesn't seem impossible. We just can't be stopped. There's Jaggy, lightning strike, lightning strike, oh, again on the ball, again with space. Again with the cross that doesn't go anywhere. Um, I love, uh, I, I think it's really important to go to the Anne Frank Museum. If you're in, um, if you're in Amsterdam, it's, uh, it's probably like the most important museum uh, in the city, I think. Although it's a city of great museums. Uh, I, lo I, just, I love the Anne Frank House. The people who run it are, are wonderful people. And, uh, and they've, I think they've done a great job of, um, uh, of talking about the... I mean, it, it really, it's also sort of the biggest Holocaust museum in the Netherlands. So they, they've done a great job, not just talking about Anne Frank and the Frank family, but also, um, you know, talking about the, the way that the, the Holocaust, um, you know, changed uh, the Netherlands forever. I mean, there were only 5,000 survivors, um, Jewish survivors from Holland. Um, and so a, a, a nation that had had a population of, you know, like 500,000 Jewish people um, had, you know, 5,000 5, at the end. It's a pretty shocking, I mean, there's no aspect of the Holocaust that isn't, isn't horrifying, but it's a, it's a you know, particularly um, shocking and important part of the understanding of the, the history of the Holocaust. So I love the Anne Frank Museum. Um, I think it's really well curated as well as just being a really moving experience. The Van Gogh Museum or Van Gogh Museum, as we would say in America, uh, is really good as well, um, particularly if you can uh, work your way into getting um, a kind of semi-private tour, which isn't that hard. Uh, it's really cool because... Um, you know, you just get to learn a little bit about uh, Van Gogh's progression as an artist or the way that his work changed over the years, um, which I really enjoyed. And then um, the Stedelijk, the um, Museum of Contemporary, Modern and Contemporary Art, is really great. Uh, there is a far more famous museum, the Rijksmuseum, that does have a wonderful, wonderful collection of the old Dutch masters and is definitely worth visiting, but the lines are often also really long. So, um, but I love the Steady Lick. I think it's uh, one of the best contemporary art museums I've ever been to. They always have a really good show um, of, of some y interesting contemporary artist. And I don't actually know where the Steady Lick is right now because it's constantly uh, moving, but I think it's in its permanent space in the museum square. Um, yeah, so those are my favorite things to do. Um, but mostly, like, it's just a great city to hang out in. Like, it's a great city to meet people um, and to... Uh, and um, just to like walk around in. There's also an amazing little church in the red light district that's, uh, it's, it's, I think it's called the little church in the attic. It's basically somebody's attic, but it's been turned into this like beautifully Baroque Catholic church. Um, it's fa totally fascinating and weird. And then of course, like you can walk around the red light district and smoke pot and all that stuff that uh, people who visit Amsterdam do. Um, but I would remind you, if you're going if you're going to Amsterdam to smoke pot, that there are a number of places right here in America where you could do that, uh, like you know, like 18 states or something. So hopefully, like that's becoming less and less of sort of of the attract. I mean, I don't have anything. I don't think. I, I don't, not that I'm bothered by people smoking pot. I'm just thinking. If, I just feel like if you're going to travel all of that way, um, you know, you should probably go to the Anne Frank Museum in the state of Um but yeah, it's just such a great city to hang out in. Like, I don't know, for me at least. Like, it's just, it's a great city to have coffee in and a great city to just do people watching. Um, and if you're going to be there, I think you said you were going to be there in March. Uh, if you're going to be there in March, like, the weather's not going to be totally crap. Like, it is part of the year. And uh, yeah, you can just sit outside and, um, you know, have a, have a sandwich and watch the, uh, watch the world go by. That's one of my favorite things to do there anyway. Um, yeah, I really love Amsterdam. I'm totally biased in its favor. That was a, I know that was a bad pass. I apologize to my friends and family. Gosh, I would have gotten so much trouble for passing out of the back from Wimbly Wombly fans if that had been gone in. It's Deeney. It's Deeney. It's Deeney. It's Deeney. To Dicko. To Dicko. Oh, it's far post. Oh, it's a beautiful save from Joe Hart. God, he never makes saves that good in real life. That was ridiculous. I think that was K. St. Louis, the patron saint of Lost Crosses. We don't even have a song for him. He scores so rarely. 
Oh man. Man, oh man. We're they're they're looking weak. Oh, he gave it all away. Oh, and then an unnecessary slide tackle, and suddenly we're on the defensive. We need to get counter-oriented. We need to be a counter-attack-oriented team when we're playing somebody like Manchester City. There we go. There we go. It's a great steal. Through ball. It's a really good through ball. It's Moe's Vestergaard. Oh, I think we got a corner kick out of it. Yeah, Moe's Vestergaard. Show him you've got courage. I like the way that he got right in his face, and he said, I'm Moe's Vestergaard. I'm 17 years old. I'm a right midfielder for the AFC Wimbledon Wimbley Wombleys, and we are just as assuredly in the Premier League as you are, so suck it. Oh, it was a goal kick in the end. That's frustrating. I'm going to check on the health and well-being of my players here in the, uh, I don't know what minute it is. Oh, boy. Things are not going well for De Michelis. He is 47 years old, to be fair. We're going to bring in Rocker. Um... And I'm also a little concerned. I, I, I saw Moe's Vestergaard, although he showed absolute unmitigated courage in that tackle. I could also tell that that was the tackle of a tired, I don't want to say broken, but a very tired man. Um, and then we are going to have to get somebody out on the wings um, to try to bring in a little pace. Oh, I know who it is. It's Frankenstein. He's going to come in for Jaguar Lightning Strike, Lightning Strike O because he's a slightly better crosser of the ball. Make all three substitutions in the 77th minute just like the pros do. De Michelis, you and your unbelievably ugly ponytail are coming off the pitch. He's got large ears, doesn't he, Meredith? He's a large, larger-eared man. Um, there we go. All three substitutions at once. You know, in the, the real AFC Wimbledon managed by Neil Ardley, whom I met a few weeks ago, the real AFC Wimbledon... Um, are, uh, fascinatingly, they also like to make at least two substitutions, usually just two, but they, they, Neil Ardley doesn't mind making two substitutions at once, unlike most, most professional managers. There we go. Great tackle. Pretty well. I just love being there. I just, like, get the biggest kick out of it. Um, you know, just from the... It's just... Yeah. And also, there's the American aspect of, like, going to Europe. You European Wimbley Wombly viewers have to understand that when we in the United States go to Europe, a lot of times we're just like, can you believe how old it all is? My God, it's all so old. And we just look at all of the, like, we look at everything and we're just like, it's old. It's so old. Speaking of old, nil-nil draws remind me of the old days when I was a Swindon Town swiddly pooper. You know what? One point away from home against Manchester City in driving rain. Would I have liked to score a goal? Yes. Will I accept a draw? Absolutely. This is the kind of result that we need to have the kind of year that we couldn't have even dreamt about when this all began. So I'm very happy. I'm not going uh, to worry. I'm going to celebrate. Thank you for watching. Best wishes.